the difference tonight? Um, the white team, I thought, had um, an intensity in and around their paint that the black team didn't have. Um, I thought that the white team was more detailed, uh, obviously, in face-off type situations, not necessarily the wins and losses, but the execution on what was happening after it. We gave up a goal on it. We gave up a scoring chance 10 seconds into the game. Um, and the um, black team didn't uh, capitalize on the chances that they had because they did have some, especially early in the game, and the white team did. How frustrating of a game is that when your, home, your shot attempts are almost two to one in your favor? Yeah, but sometimes that's a little bit misleading. It depends where we're taking them from and what's coming off of it. Um, you know, their, I think it was their third goal. They. They laid one at the net. It wasn't all that important until the the rebound wasn't swept away and the, the player wasn't picked up and it's in your net. They capitalized on um, on the ones that they needed to. We had a ton of those but didn't. So it it, it balanced out in both ends. Todd, there's quite a few shifts for Andreas and Jordan out there, but nominate together as a pair. Is there a reason you didn't want to throw them out there as a pair? No, uh, Jans is working the back end, and he uh, he feels comfortable using them um, as he feels fit. There's different types of matchups, physicality, and size that that's needed at any given time, and uh, I think you'll see that throughout the year um, happen. Last year, you guys had a um, terrific home record. I know last year is last year, yep. um, and it's real early, obviously. But how much do you want to kind of reestablish making uh, this place a well, we, we really want to reestablish that, but we've had the President's Trophy team come in tonight. We've had the other two uh, Eastern, well, we had the, the, the other two division champions come in, and we ended up having uh, three nights where we got a point out of it. And we talked about needing measuring tools and measuring sticks. Uh, those are three teams that you have to beat, especially on home ice, at some point. And uh, when I look at how we lost those games uh we gave up two shorties we uh we lacked details and face-offs our net play uh we gave up 13 goals against those three teams in our building so i think we have a pretty good path right now as a team of where we need to go and what we need to work on we can get there um, I, I really believe we can uh, but we now have some direction and that's not a bad thing to have Uh, no, I saw some individual mistakes. Face-off coverage, simple as that. Like we we went through that before the game, and we knew exactly what was going on, and we didn't get it done. And it's hard to, you know, you, you could look at the center while we lost the draw, but those those things happen. But the coverage has to be taken care of. So there are some individual mistakes, and but there's always going to be individual mistakes. We could win. We won in Minnesota the other day. Uh, scored seven goals, only gave up three. There was individual mistakes there. Um, you just have to cut back on them. Jason and Kevin have one goal between us, between them. Are they doing everything else but scoring? Um, I, I'm gonna. Kev tonight didn't attempt a shot, at least on the score sheet, uh, and that can be wrong often. Uh, but he's got a tremendous shot. Um, He's making some real good offensive plays, setting up other people, and that's real good. But he's got a shot, and he's got to use it. And, um, you know, Juice has had the shot attempts, a uh, couple off his stick, a couple wobbly pucks tonight. He hasn't had anything real clean. Uh, but we aren't short on offense most nights. So I don't think that's killing us. It's We're a little short on the defending part. And that's where it's hurting us. What did you see from him tonight getting that goal and just overall of these first five? Well, he continues to show that he belongs at, at this level. Um, and he's not afraid to shoot the puck. We know that already. It's only, you know, after two games we were aware of that. Um, used his legs and his shot uh, to score. Now it'll be a bit of a test because he's been around for five games and the excitement and um, all that enthusiasm and... and um, you know, the first goal, the first game, it, it 
be, it normalizes a little bit for players. And now you have to keep going. It, it, I don't want to say it becomes work because this is great work for all of us. But you have to be able to keep playing and, and uh, bring that energy and that excitement over and over again. And I think he can do that. You've talked in the past about the importance of having those young players around to kind of put some wind in the sails of some mm -hmm. of the older players. Are you seeing that again this year with a guy like Alex? Um, yeah. I, if you recall, we got on a plane and went to uh, Australia about a month ago. And he wasn't on that plane. And he didn't play with us last year. He practiced a few times near the end of the season. Guys kind of knew who Alex was. But they really had no idea. They don't watch college hockey. They don't pre-scout anything. They hear a few things. But I think he's done an incredible job of um, showing his new teammates that he's the real thing. What's your assessment of, of Dubois' performance after five games? Dubois' performance? Well, I think he's a big man that uses his size real well. Um, he's surprisingly, he's he's going faster than he looks on the ice. And he's got that deception of speed. Uh, he's been able to get his shots off. That line, we talked about Kevin needing to score more, but that line has been in a lot of offensive chances in five games. He's been a big part of it. So um, for him and Laugh are, and Eglin are really the three guys that have had to adjust to new surroundings, new team, teammates, new systems. All three are doing a pretty admirable job. It's safe to assume that Phoenix gets one of the two Arizona games? Uh, yeah, well, well, one of the two games, uh, Arizona games, yes. Likely he'll get, uh, you know, we play three games uh, coming up. What do we play, Tuesday and then Friday, Saturday? So uh, definitely in the back-to-back -back scenarios. Um, goes back to what I said at the beginning of the year. Two, sometimes three are important. And they all have to play, and he's very capable of doing it. You spoke a little to the mixing and matching on defense. Uh, would you and Trent ultimately like to kind of have concrete pairs? or are you We'll see how it – we're five games in. Right. Um, we've got uh, Spenny, who's relatively new. we got England, relatively new. Um, so we're, we're – we're, I don't think you're going to see anything solid. Even with lines, we may tinker with – uh, some limes. We haven't done that all year yet, but there may be some tinkering that goes on, and it's what happens when you play 82 games. Uh, speaking with Kobe in the room, he said the most special part for him tonight was having his son with him in the locker room. How important are those moments for players like that? <coughs> they are, you know, they can, Kobe scored, I don't know how many goals played, I don't know how many games. Um, one, two cups, all those trophies, um, international events. But I can guarantee you that what happened tonight in that locker room with this little guy reading the lineup will be right up there with the, the trophies and the rings and everything else that's there. It's just the way it is. And we're proud to um, have family join us in those moments and those, those situations. So um, really uh, a really moving moment Something that they should all all be able to experience at some point. Sorry. Uh, you mentioned that Phoenix was going to start next week and that it has to be by committee, but this was three straight starts for Cam. He hasn't taken the number one job per se, but is he starting to take that kind of be the guy role? Um, we'll see how it goes. Like we've only seen Phoenix for one game. Um, you guys are asking me questions after five. We haven't won a home game yet. So to say, hey, you know what, Cam Talbot's our guy. Let's go. We haven't won a home game yet. I can't tell you who our number one line is, who our uh, top pair is right now uh, until we get on a roll and really start rolling out wins. If, if we can get to that, uh, then I can answer that question. Todd, at the beginning of the game, you had an opportunity with the power play, a five-on-three advantage. A little disappointed that you weren't able to maybe set more of a tone from there? Well, the, I, I thought we did set the tone. We, we were dangerous. We had some good looks, some scoring chances. It didn't go in. And, um, you know, I don't think that, uh, you know, I don't think there's a big fall off in the level of our play after that. Um, we just didn't get rewarded for it. I thought our power play sucked the life out of us a little more in the second period than it did in the, uh, you know, or later on in the game. Um, and then the, the grinders got to go out and they scored one, so good for them.